Again, and what are we here for? We're here, we're here for Inside Out. We're here for we're, we're in Pixar Pals right now, <laughs> and we're actually here for character dining too. We're gonna be going to Paradise Pier Hotel to do the. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Yeah, we're gonna be doing character dining today. I've actually never done character dining ever, so I'm super excited for this. We're actually gonna go over there right now. Well, let's check on how the pedestrian bridge is doing for Pixar Pals Park and the Nemo level right now. So, we're gonna go check on everything. We're in the it's gonna finding be a fun one. Finding Nemo. Nemo. It says finding Look, right there. <laughs> we love themed trash cans. And how tiny the garage is compared to Mickey and Friends. So beautiful though. So this is where the pedestrian walkway starts at. I believe it's on the Coco level. And as you can see, look, they have a whole trail over there lined up for how the pedestrian walkway is going to work. Also, as of recent, the Stitch parking lot has closed, so no more downtown Disney parking. You have to park in the Paradise Pier one, which is a symbol lot, I believe. But I don't know when the pedestrian bridge is going to open. I'm excited for when it will open because it will make getting to Disney a lot easier if the tram has a long line. But I'm excited. I guess we'll see in the next couple weeks or so. This is the current state of it though. Looks like they got a lot going on. Paradise Pier Hotel. Gotta go get some breakfast. I'm hungry. They have a mural or a painting of what Paradise Pier used to look like. I miss when it used to look like this. This is over here in the gift shop right outside PCH. Oh, I miss the Paradise Pier. And California screaming most of all. So we're in, we're gonna go meet Donald and get a picture with him. They got my food, and I was hoping that they had Mickey Waffles, and they did. They had Mickey Waffles. So excited. And Minnie's right over there. And like my childhood favorite Disney character is Stitch. And he's, they don't have a meeting here for him out in the park. But we can meet him here. So I'm like super excited. Like I love Stitch so much. And Daisy right over here somewhere. But we'll see her when she comes around. Daisy's sitting with us. You want some of my food? <laughs> some juice? <food? laughs> I know. Put the Tabasco sauce in there. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, you like that? <laughs> it's a video. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, he's picking his nose. I'm done with the character dining, super fun. I met Stitch, my favorite, favorite Disney character of all time. No. I definitely think it was worth it. You have to think more of this experience than anything than yeah. just the food. Yeah, the that's experience, what I said. The experience was like great. We had tons of great like character experiences and everything. Oh my goodness, lightning back. There we go. What do you think of it? The experience was like 10 out of 10. Food was like 6 out of 10, 5 out of 10, but this matters. It's not the experience, like we had lots of fun. Like the food's not really the main focus, it's just about like having a good time and stuff. Like we were laughing non-stop. Yeah, I think the, the thing of it is like, the food is the side thing and the character is the main thing. Because the characters come around more than once. If you stay for an hour, which we did, we got to see them all more than once and they're all very interactive and everything. And it's very cool and you get tons of photo opportunities. So we highly recommend. Next well, time, we're gonna do Goofy's Kitchen or the Storyteller one, the princess one. Yeah, and Matt, um, he made an enemy today. <laughs> yeah, because he didn't want to take a picture with Daisy. Daisy kept coming around, and you know, Daisy just doesn't <laughs> like him anymore. So, but then, 
She stole his phone, took a picture, and now they're all good now. But <laughs> let's go check out Inside Out Emotional World. Emotional World. She did. Look how pretty it is. The walls are finally down after a long time of waiting. And just like everybody else, I love these little benches. Although, I don't know how long they're gonna last. So. I don't know. Let's go hop on Emotional World. looking sign and also the height requirement is no height required I'm excited let's go and they actually do spin too I don't know if you guys can see it but they spin all oh, part of the detail you take note though on a sunny hot day there's not much shade to protect you from the hot the heat so be warned Pixar Pier is now officially complete after a whole year, but it's done now. The last edition was Emotional Whirlwind, and now we can just look towards the future of the pier expanding possibly into the boardwalk section. Or if it's just going to stay Pixar themed over here, we'll see. Right now, the main focus of DCA is Marvel Land. So let's go check out what's going on over there at Stark Industries. Their progress on the Spider-Man themed attraction and other sorts of stuff going into Marvel Land. Came into the Mercado and they have a new spirit jersey. You said that they have this in kids? Yeah, they've already had this in kids. Are you sure they have the tie-dye one in kids? 100%, 1,000% positive. Okay, well this is the tie-dye Briar Rose Gold is what it's called, but now it's an adult. Can you model it for me really quick? It's the same Can price as a normal spirit jersey, $64.99. Do you dig with it? Do you like it? Always. I kind of like the tie to add to it. Sorry, oh it's really packed in here. And they have the whole rose gold, well not the whole, but a couple rose gold things in here. Alright, came over here to the Marvel Land site. As you can see, there's a lot of people. So we're going to zoom in a bit and see if we can see anything new. Looks like they haven't made much progress since the last time we were here, a couple weeks ago. Like I said though, I'm sure they're working on this interior work. You know there's lots of stuff going on as far as inner Marvel line goes, other than just a Spider-Man attraction. Which all of that's going to be part of Phase 1 opening next year. Phase 2 is just the stuff behind Guardians, and we don't even know if we're going to get a Phase 2 of Marvel, and it is still unknown if we will get a Phase 2, and what will specifically go in Phase 2. We don't even know what we're going to get in Phase 1. The only thing that we know for sure is what the entrance is going to look like, and the fact that we're getting a Spider-Man attraction. But we don't even know what it's going to be, or what type of attraction it's going to be. Everyone's saying shooting right, though. I'm sure when we go over towards Guardians, we'll be able to see a little bit more, hopefully, we're able to see a little bit more, but from this point of view, nothing much has changed, it's just the same scaffolding, I'm sure they're doing work on the inside. So we came over into Cars Land, and just to get an idea of how packed it is today, Mass Fest pushes all the way back here to the faulty streetlight, and 
get this. This line isn't just to scan your ticket. It's actually where the end of the line is. So, meaning usually when fast pass is like that, it's just because everyone's taking too long to scan their park tickets for the fast passes. And no, this is a full line. It's not just a way to scan your ticket. It's full inside the fast pass queue too. Insane. It also broke down earlier, but that is not the only factor that comes into play with this line. It's also the fact that it's 4th of July weekend and it is hot. Oh, a hot day out. Why not stop into the Cozy Cone Motel to get some ice cream cones? I'm definitely craving some ice cream. This should be good. Well, I have never tasted the ice cream either at the Cozy Cone. And I must say, Hands down the best ice cream I've tasted in Disneyland. Highly recommend it, especially on a hot day. Highly recommend the Cozy Cone soft serve. Now I would get on the Pal Around to get another shot, but the Pal Around is currently sitting at a 70 minute wait. So not today, but to keep up to date with the channel, I usually tend to get on the Pal Around to get a aerial view of Marvel Land, so. Over by the Guardian area of Marvelland, all we can spot is a big mound of dirt. That's the update over here. Not much going on. Soon, like I said, we'll start to see vertical construction. Heading on out, and there's a ton of people out here in the hub waiting to watch the fireworks at starting in five minutes. So we're gonna get out of here as fast as possible before we catch that crowd. And let's go check out if there's any cool lighting packages on Pixar Palace. And this can get the night. With the fireworks finale going on. So pretty. Loving Pixar Palace. Loving the whole new general area. This is a perfect Woo! Perfect way to end the night. Well that does it for this video. I'm back at my house after a while, a long Disney day. I haven't done one of those Disney days in a while where it's just we were there all day, so I'm swamped. I got work tomorrow morning. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And check us out on social media at SoCal Exploring Media on Instagram and at SoCal Exploring on Twitter. You can also check out our website, SoCalExploring.com, for more detailed information about theme park updates and haunt attraction updates as well. Guys, I'm tired. I have been Scott, and you have been watching SoCal Exploring. Positivity is key. Most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace. Just